became a chef. Let's get cooking! a coconut cake with pineapple filling for my grandmother's birthday on Tuesday. So this is gonna be a delicious cake and I can't wait to make it. So let me show you what ingredients that we'll be needing. We'll be needing some flour, some sugar, some canola oil or vegetable oil, some baking soda, baking powder, some um, shredded coconut, unsweetened or sweetened, some salt, um, cornstarch, some crushed pineapple, and some coconut milk. I'm pretty sure there's more ingredients, but we'll get those along the way. But we also need two, uh, two sticks of butter. So that's one cup of butter all total. So let's go ahead and get started with our nice cake. So let me try and show you guys, you guys can see. So what we wanna do first, let me look at my recipe. All right, so we wanna add three cups of all-purpose flour. So go ahead and pour in three cups of all-purpose flour and I'll see you guys. And I'm next. also gonna sift it with a sifter. So I got my one cup. Oh, great, okay. That might happen. Try not to make that happen, but it might happen. But if it does, just clean it up. But we'll clean it up in the very end. Like after we make the cake. So, let me level this out. And then keep doing this for three cups, two more times. And so I'm gonna sift it in there. So, there's no big clumps. Sift it in there. And usually you wanna sift all your dry ingredients. It's just better that way. And yeah. And do that for two more times and I'll see you guys next. Okay guys, so once you have your three cups of flour sifted, it looks better and it's going to be better if you sift your flour. So next what we want to do is get two teaspoons of baking powder. So, oh, and I didn't tell you this before, but first you want to wash your hands. I did this once I started this video and when I started cleaning up the flour mess, so yeah. So two teaspoons baking powder so the cake can rise. And put that back on there. You don't have to sift the baking powder because usually it's already like all good and stuff. But yeah, okay. Next what we wanna do, go ahead and put a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So not the baking soda in your refrigerator because that's not the good one that you use for cooking. You use the one in your pantry or, yeah, in the pantry. So, one and a half teaspoons of baking pot, baking soda. So, it could be a little hard to get this out, but, okay. And, so, since I'm using a half teaspoon for this, I'm going to put it in for three times. 
So this is the third one there. And also you don't have to sift baking baking soda. It's yeah, you just don't. And then what we want to do is go ahead and put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, that's good. Then now you want to go ahead and stir it and then set it aside. So make sure it's all well blended. This is gonna be a really good cake, I can tell. All right, set that aside, and then you could go ahead and put away your flour, and your flour, your baking soda, your baking powder, your salt, salt I believe, yeah, your salt. So all the things that we use for our dry ingredients because we won't be using that again. So get all of that and I'll okay guys so here. next what we want to do is go ahead and get a can of coconut milk so we want 13 ounces but this is 13.5 ounces um I'm not really sure how to like measure it out and all that stuff with the ounces um I haven't learned that yet but we're just going to be using 13.5 ounces of coconut milk it's totally fine it's just going to be more coconutty like more moist and stuff. So you wanna open this with a can opener. Um, so open your coconut milk and then pour it in here and then mix it because it will be chunky when it comes out. Let if me just you show. guys don't know how to use a can opener, um, let me show you guys. So you get your can opener, it looks like this. And you go ahead and get the, the black part right here hook it right here and then like the blade right at an angle at the uh, okay so maybe you guys know how to use a can opener it's kind of confusing to show how to well I could easily show you how but it's a, it's kind of hard to explain how to so if you guys can see it's at an angle the blade right here don't touch it because it will do that and then squeeze down on these two handles and twist this and this will start opening up the can so if you're making like soup or something out of a can this is how you do it um some cans have the little soda can opener thingy but most have um this so usually you have to use a can opener then you want to go ahead do not touch the side of the the top of the can because then it will cut you and that will lead to a serious injury. So as you see your coconut milk's here, go ahead and throw this away. You wanna go ahead and get a medium sized mixing bowl and then pour in our coconut milk. So if it's all smooth, then see, do you see how it's like a little gray? So yeah, you wanna go ahead and mix that all in. So, you can use a whisk or a spoon. I'm gonna use um, probably a whisk or, yeah, probably a whisk. So I'm just gonna whisk this in, make sure it's all good. If it turns out chunky when you open it, that's totally fine. Uh, it will, do. usually it does that because coconut milk is, it's like you have to chop the coconut up and do all this stuff and yeah so it's gonna be a little chunky if you have it and it does smell really good because coconut is really good never made a coconut cake before but i'm absolutely excited to make one so make sure you mix it very well until it's all smooth like this and it looks like regular milk then you want to go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. So do that real quick and I'll see you guys next. Okay guys, so after you mix in your vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste really well, it should look a little brown. Um, mine looks a little brown in the camera, you can't really see it, but 
And if you don't have vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste, it's totally fine because um, vanilla extract just gives it that little vanilla taste. It doesn't really do a big effect. So if you don't have it, that's totally fine. But next what you want to do is go ahead and pour in one tablespoon of canola oil or vegetable oil. So canola oil is more healthier. So you, usually you should use um, canola oil, but if you're using vegetable oil, that's totally fine. So, and olive oil is more healthier than canola oil and vegetable oil. So pour that in. Then go ahead, put the cap back on. And then you wanna go ahead and pour in eight ounces of um, crushed pineapple. So this is 20 ounces. Um, so we're gonna, try and measure it out because we definitely don't want 20 ounces. But if, like, the coconut milk, if it's, like, 13.5 ounces, that's fine, probably. So this, mine has that little soda can lid thingy. So if yours has that, then just pull it up. I think you guys should know how to open up a soda can. But if you don't know, this is how you do it. But it might be a little hard to get this off. Um... Let me see the instructions. So, yeah, so just try and pull it around. This is a little hard, okay. But um, if this comes off, then second thing you wanna do is get a knife and try and um, get it off. But you really shouldn't do that. But if it happens, then you might have to. All right, finally got mine off, okay? That was a... Uh... So it's a little white, and then we're going to add in just a little bit of crushed pineapple. So since this is 20 ounces, and um, let me see. Wait, so wait one second. I need to do a little math here. So it turns out ounces. 8 ounces is equal to 1 cup. So we're going to add in 1 cup of crushed pineapples. Okay. Well, that's fine. And then just pour it in there. If there's still some pineapple juice in there, that is fine. Then you wanna go ahead and mix it in. Let me see my instructions again. Okay, yeah, you wanna go ahead and mix it in and set it aside. So mix it really well. And I have no idea where the pineapple went. Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. So just mix it well. This will be um, used with the dry mixture we made and some butter and some sugar. So don't worry, yes, this is gonna be a sweet cake, not just um, unsweetened, because that wouldn't really be that well. But it won't be too sweet, you know? So. Usually you want cakes that are not too sweet and not too unsweet. So this will be a cake like that. Can't wait for this cake. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is how yours want, you want yours to look like. If you smell it, it smells really good with all that pineapple and coconut. So next what you wanna do is set that aside. Then you wanna go ahead and get another large bowl and um, go ahead and put in one cup of room temperature butter. So just set these two butter sticks out. Um, you don't really want to put them in the microwave or else it won't turn out to be a good cake. We want them to just be room temperature. So just set them out for like, like 10 minutes um, or so, just till they get a little squishy and room temperature. So I'll see you guys once they are more room temperature. So what you wanna do now though, is go ahead and put away your canola oil or vegetable oil and go ahead and um, you can put away the sifter. You, you won't be needing it. And I don't think we'll be needing all of these um, crushed pineapple cans that we got, but yeah. 
So you can just kind of clean up your station now and yeah. Okay guys, so once your butter is room temperature, I kind of like mashed mine up so it'll be easier a little bit. But once it's room temperature, um, you want to go ahead and mix it up until it's smooth. So let's mix it until it's smooth. You really want to use a um, an electric mixer, but again, I'm not supposed to use a mixer when um, there's no parent watching me. Um, but I promise that in the future that I will be using an electric mixer soon. But yeah. So just kind of mash it till it's smooth and mix it till it's all smooth. Now I'll see you guys next. And make sure you don't put this in the microwave because um, if you do, I did that yesterday when I was baking a cake and um it it wasn't that it wasn't fluffy when you put the sugar in and all that stuff so i'll see you guys once it's all smooth guys okay, so my butter is pretty smooth right now as you see and next what we want to do is go ahead and get two cups of granulated sugar so I got mine right here and we're gonna pour in two cups of it. So I'm just gonna use a half cup because we already used our cup for the pineapple and it's a little wet right now. I didn't wash it yet, but I'm gonna be using a half cup. So I'm gonna put four of these in. So two cups, because we want it to be sweet. So pour in Two cups. Let me do this a little bit. Two cups. I need to clean that up after. And yeah, once it's two cups, I'll okay, see you guys. Okay, guys. So next. once you have your two cups of sugar, you want to go ahead and mix that for a couple minutes until it's all light and fluffy. So it might take a little bit more time if you're mixing it from hand, but it's okay. So you might want to use a whisk for this if you want. Um, I'm just going to test it out with a spoon really quick. But if it gets hard, then you probably want to use a, a whisk. So once it's all light and fluffy and the sugar is all incorporated into the butter, I'll see you guys next. Guys, okay, so this is what you want yours to look like. It took like three minutes, so... Um, that's good. And now what we want to do is get three eggs. So I'll see you guys once again. So I got three eggs now, if you guys can see right here. And so we want to add one egg at a time. So this is the time when I'm going to use my whisk. Um, and yeah. So once your butter is all light and fluffy, the only thing that I don't like about whisk is that it gets stuck. So I'm might continue using a spoon. So let me just get all this out because it gets a little annoying with whisk and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna spoon this out real quick. And if this happens, so you just do the same thing I'm doing. Okay. So once we cleaned out the whisk, we want to go ahead and put in one egg. And make sure there's no shell. And once we got one egg, we want to go ahead and whisk it in. And keep doing that um, until it's all whisked in well. And I'll see you guys next. Guys, so once it's all mixed in and well and it looks like this, you want to go ahead and get one third cup and add in one third cup of the flour mixture in. And then, yeah, you'll see what we're doing. So, this is one third cup. Then we want to go ahead 
Oh, wait, no, no, no. We don't want to add one third cup. We want to add one third of our flour mixture. So we made, since we use one, wait, where is it? All right, just, just do one third of your flour mixture. So like, that's like one third, okay? And then now we want to mix that in. The reason why we're not doing it at um, all together because it will go, the flour will go everywhere and it won't be combined well. So we want to just pour in one third of our flour mixture. And okay. So once it's like that, want to go ahead and add add in um one half of our liquid mixture that we made so the coconut milk and the crushed pineapples and all that stuff so add one the half of that that's like half and put that aside. Then go mix and mix that in till it's all well combined. Oh, it's going everywhere, sorry. All right, I'll see you guys once this is all whisked in. Okay guys, so now what we wanna do is add another third of our flour mixture and we're gonna keep doing this over and over again until you got none. So that's like one third now. And mix that in, and then put in the rest of the coconut milk mixture we made, and then put the rest of the flour mixture. So we're transitioning. So let's keep mixing this in. It's nice and good. Sorry, it's going everywhere. It will do that probably, but it's okay. Always mix. Always clean it up later. All right. Okay. And mix that all in until there's no dry ingredients in there. Then put in the rest of your um, liquid mixture. So I'll see you guys next. So next, what you want to do is go ahead and put your batter aside, but we'll be using it really quickly. You want to go ahead and get two 8-inch um, to 9-inch circular pans, um, cake pans, and butter and flour it. So I put a little too much flour, but that's totally fine. If you don't know what buttering it is, it's um, using the baking stick, like the Crisco, and you like use a paper towel and butter it, and then um, put some flour on top of there. So what we want to do now is go ahead and pour our batter into um, the pans. So let's go ahead and pour half of it to here. It should come out very smoothly. And then let it drip a little bit. Then go on to the next one and then spread it out. So this is going to be a great cake because I could tell it is going out smoothly and um, I tasted a little bit of the batter and it tastes really good. So you really shouldn't taste the batter because there's raw eggs in there, but I just, I just need to. So, pour the rest in. Scrape out the rest with a spoon. And then go ahead and put this aside. You could go ahead and wash it now. Or put it in the sink. So, let's do that real quick. 
Okay. Now that most of it's out, we want to go ahead and spread it. Spread it along there. Do a little tap. All good. And a little tap, tap on here. This one has a little bit more, so I'm going to pour a little bit of that in there. And I'm going to clean the edges off. So, yeah, that's good. Let me get a paper towel. Okay, paper towel. Oh, wait. A little paper towel. Okay, cleaning the edges off. Clean up your station. Go ahead and put your spoon away and your bowl away. And then just clean up your station and then move on to the next. Oh guys, step. I forgot one of the most important things. So we need to get another spoon real quick. So I'm just gonna use the one that we've been using. It's still clean, like it's not clean, as you see, but like nothing touched it. So, what we're supposed to do is get our coconut and put in one half cup of it. So, what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, pour a little bit in there and mix it in there. So, that's about one half cup. And then, this is one cup. So, I'm just going to add, like, one cup to each one. Sorry, guys. Um, but it should still taste good. So, just go mix that in. And once it's all mixed in, preheat your oven to 350 and put these cakes in the oven for 45 minutes. So, just gonna mix it in here. Okay. And then now do a little tap tap again. Okay, and now the next one looks so satisfying. But yeah, the coconut will make it taste better. Sorry guys for the inconvenience, but it's totally fine. Uh, so clean off the edges again. Okay. That's good. Good. So, put these in at 350 for 45 minutes and I'll see you Hey guys, guys, so our cakes look amazing. Let me try and show you guys one of the cakes so far. Wait one second. It's a little hot. Alright. Um. Alright, so... This is what one of them turned out. And even though they look really brown, you want them to be in for 45 minutes. Even though it will look really, really brown, it just, it's just the coconut is making it look brown, but in the inside, it's actually pretty, um, um, like, it's not overbaked, just saying. So, it's really good, um, but this is not it. We are doing something else real quick, so I'll see you guys for the next step of our pineapple. Hey guys, so for our um, pineapple filling, you need to go ahead and put in, second, let me get my recipe, okay. So, let's 
So 20 ounces of pineapple. Pineapple. Crushed pineapple. 20 ounces. So pour this in a small pot. Okay. Then you can throw this away. sugar and put two thirds cup of it in so I'll see you guys next once I get my sugar hey guys so once you got your granulated sugar put in two thirds cup so get a third cup measure and pour it in two times so it's two thirds cup okay and this will be our pineapple filling that will go in between the layers then next what we want to do is go ahead and put a pinch of salt. So a pinch is not an exact measuring, but it's just a little bit of salt. So just pour a little into your hand. And this is a lot, but just get a little bit and sprinkle a little bit on there. Okay, that's good. And then I'm just going to throw it out of the way. Okay. And then next what we want to do, go ahead and add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Uh, tablespoon, so, yeah, okay. Cornstarch, so it should look like this. And get our tablespoon and put it in three times. So measure it, dump it in there. Dump, and one more time, dump. Okay, and put that aside. And go ahead and put it at high and get a spoon. I'm just gonna be using a whisk. And so put it at high because we wanna boil it. Okay, one second, I need to move that water away. Put that high, mix it all in till it's all boiled and um, a little thick, a thick pineapple filling sauce. And um, so stir it in for like five minutes. So it's all thick and creamy. And after five minutes, go ahead and get two tablespoons of butter and put it in there. So I'll see you guys once five minutes is up. Now guys, you're, after you stirred in, um, boiled it and stirred in the butter, it should look nice and gooey and more clear instead of it looking like milk inside of it. But it should all be coming together now and it's all sticky now. And so now what you wanna do is get a medium container, transfer it to there, put it in the fridge until it's cooled um, so we can put it on the cake. So I'll see you guys once it's all cooled um no i'll just see you guys um when it's while it's in the fridge we'll go on to the next step guys okay, so what we want to do for the toasted coconut on the outside of the cake you want to go ahead and put in one cup of um shredded coconut sweetened or unsweetened i have unsweetened but sweetened is usually good for cakes but i have unsweetened but the cake already tastes good, and we put unsweetened um, coconut in there, so it's gonna taste great. So, 
in one cup. This is a half cup. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Probably gonna make this cake all the time because it's really good. But probably for special occasions because it kind of takes a long time to make this cake. That's good. Now, you can put your coconut away and what we're gonna do now is go ahead, put it on medium, get a little spoon. I'm s No, I'm not gonna use snow whisk. I'm gonna use a spoon. Wait, wait, wait. Spatula. I think that's pretty good for this. So, um, just make sure it's all toasted. Keep stirring continuously. And make sure you wa watch it closely. So, what I did, just did was not good because the coconut will burn really quickly. So, um, wait. This burner is really small, so I'm going to use a different burner. Right here, so you'll still be kind of able to see it, but yeah. So toss it around. Um, once it gets slightly browned, that is good because this will be like on the outside of the cake, so it'll be extra good. Coconut's probably my new favorite fruit now. That's like really good. I mean, the cake turned out delicious, and yeah. So make sure it's toasted and brown and then put it in a different bowl. So yeah, I will see you guys once it's toasted and brown. Okay hey guys, so once your cake is all cooled and your pineapple filling is all cooled, you want to put it on a cake platter like this. It's like clear and then it has like, if you don't have one, just use a plate. But um, since I have one, we're going to, it just makes it look prettier and it's just better. So what you want to do is make a little bit of buttercream. We're going to make more buttercream layer. But um, right now we're just going to make like half a cup of buttercream. I already made mine. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to, but it's pretty simple. Um, cause I'm not going to show you guys because in all my other videos, I make buttercream usually and I show you guys how to, but if you want to check out my video, how to make buttercream, um, then you can go watch that. Like the first five minutes is literally how to make it. Uh, but all you really need is for this, we're going to be using a half cup of butter. So that's one stick of butter and a half cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's how you make it. So it's pretty easy and yeah. So next what we wanna do, once your cake is all cooled, I think I'm gonna make my cake a little cooled for 10 more minutes. So I'll see you guys after Hey guys, so once your cake is cooled, okay. So if you're wondering what this big hole right here is, it's because the cake was too good to just leave it there, like, I just had to taste it, and it tasted delicious, so I had to keep doing it. But, um, don't worry, my hands were clean when I was doing it. But, anyways, what we want to do now is get your buttercream and the icing um, utensil and spread a thin layer of buttercream on top. Then go ahead and get your cooled pineapple filling and go ahead and top it on there. So what you can do, you can cut your cakes in half. Uh, I think it's called torting them, I'm not sure. But it, you could do that if you want, but I'm not. And so I'm just, wait one second, I need to turn off the TV real quick. Uh, just put it on mute, okay. So just spread a thin layer 
I can tell this is going to be delicious. We don't want too much buttercream, too. So, just make sure it's all spread on there. And, yeah. So, I'll see you guys next. And I'll see you guys when we are putting our pineapples on. Once it's on there, we want to get our pineapple filling and spread some on there too. So I'm still going to use the same utensil. I'm um, going to wipe it off a little bit and get a little bit of pineapple filling. Make sure it's cold, so I'm just going to... Oh, no, this is still hot. Sorry, guys. I'll see you guys in like an hour or so. Maybe like 20 minutes. Stop hey guys, so my pineapple filling is all chilled. I put it in the um, freezer for like 20 minutes or 10. And so let's spread our pineapple on. This looks good. Spread a lot on because we want a lot of pineapple. So, ooh, nice and gooey and sticky. Mm. Delicious. Now this is a cake that I will buy for a million dollars. It's delicious. Well, I don't have a million dollars, but, you know. All right. So that's good for now. Then we want to go ahead and add our second layer. So, our second layer, it turned out like this, and so we're going to flip it over and put it on top. Then we're going to put this pan away, and then put some more buttercream on top and more pineapple filling. And then, um, or, let me check the recipe. Okay, so it turns out this is all we need if we are only having two layers. You can use the pineapple filling, um, for something else if you want. Go ahead and wipe off your icing spatula and make some more buttercream. Enough to coat the whole cake. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some toasted coconut. So I'll see you guys once the cake is all iced and hey guys, so welcome back. And now I'm gonna show you guys what the cake looks like. Look at that. It is buttercream frosting with pineapple jelly on the side with coconut, toasted coconut on the outside. It looks literally amazing. As you see, and now we are going to go ahead and test it out soon. And we're going to see if it's actually a really good cake. So, yeah, hey guys. So once, well, it's already done. But I am so excited because this is probably, like, the prettiest cake I've made. The other cakes that I made were totally sloppy and weird. But this is so pretty. It looks better here than what it looks like in camera. But... We're going to go ahead and taste it, taste it because we took a bunch of pictures, so, oh my gosh, it's going to be so sad. Oh, oh, I can tell it's going to be delicious. And I put some pineapple filling on the outside to make it look better and taste better. Ooh, that is a nice slice. I'm only going to get like a thin slice. Okay, let's get a plate real quick. After four hours, it's I'm fi it's finally ready to taste. So let's go ahead and take this nice slice. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Look at that nice slice. All oh, the pineapple filling. Ooh, 
Ah, this looks delicious. Okay, guys, I would actually buy this for like a hundred dollars. Like fifty dollars. Like seventy five dollars. I don't know. But this cake looks delicious and we're going to go ahead and test it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the top on. The top on right here. Nice and it fits well. And let's go ahead and get it. Hey guys, taste. it's the moment of truth on this delicious looking cake. Let's eat. Delicious! Oh my gosh. Mmm. So good. I'm definitely gonna eat this whole cake. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Now this is an awesome cake. I really recommend making this. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Uh. So, Grandma Ma, if you're watching this, this is the best cake ever. And I'm so glad you told me to make this cake. It's really good. And don't wor worry, Uncle Gene. I will be making those birthday cakes for you. Birthday cupcakes for you. Um, we just had to get the right ingredients today. And we did. So, that will be a episode tomorrow. Mmm. It's very moist and good. The toast, the toasted coconut goes great with the pineapple. Mm. Nice and crunchy. All right. Enough of me eating, but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have very, really enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Sorry. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. And please make this cake. It's delicious. Like, I'm still doing it, but it's delicious. Mm. I'm probably going to make this cake all the time. But, anyways, that's it. This is a nice trop tropical. Okay, I can't talk. Um. Okay. Uh, this is a nice trop tropical cake that you can make anytime, especially for our birthdays, um, special occasions. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a big thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Well, not even considering, just, just subscribe. Our goal is 200 by the end of September, and we already have 125, and... Um, it's not even September yet. It's like the end of August right now. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Why do I keep saying the same stuff? Okay, anyways, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! See you next time! Yeah!